All right, guys, we're back now, and we're looking at the flight controller right here. And what we're going to do before, I, the reason I left it on here is I figured we might as well go ahead and show you all the next step is going to be to take your VTX wire. Now, your VTX wire, remember, is going to be this, it's going to be this multicolored wire here with a bunch of strands. I'm going to try to show it to you underneath. Um, but let me go ahead and just move this out of the way, and we'll take the, uh, oh, sorry, let me turn this off real quick. Let me do that and turn my audio down. I apologize. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to our bench here, and I'll show you what we're working with. So here is the, uh, here's the cable set right here. For the vtx and one of the things we don't need right now is we're not going to need uh these two wires right here now i'm going to remove them by lifting the tabs up and i'm going to show you exactly how that's done and i'll do that under the microscope for you guys so you can see it a little bit better but here's what you're going to need you're going to need something very sharp like a razor blade tip or a needle tip or even a fine uh tweezers of some sort i'm going to go ahead and use uh some fine tweezers that i i've got but i bent them the tips of them so i can get an easier grab but let me just show you what we're going to do all right, so let me get this ready and give you an idea of what we've got going on here, okay? Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna remove these wires right here, okay? The green and the white we don't need, all right? Because these are to power our camera and we're gonna be powering our camera directly from the board. We've already wired it. Now, if you look at my tweezers right here, they're kind of bent right there. I did that on purpose so I could grab, but you can use anything you want. Something, anything with a sharp uh, tip on it to get right in to this area right here, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna get the tip of the uh, needle right in there and you wanna lift up on these tabs, but not too much, you don't wanna break them. When you lift up, the wire will pull out very easily, just like that, and you can set it aside. And then we're gonna lift up on the second one. Again, not enough to break it, okay? Just be careful, just enough so that you can get some leverage on it, there you go. Once you're done, you can push those tabs back down so they don't pop out, because you can always save these wires and you can always put them back in uh, later. I always save mine just in case. Let's say I need to, I need an extra five volts for some reason. Uh, it's gonna give me that. So now that you understand how to do that, now what you can see is we've got four wires that we're gonna need for our VTX ready to go. And they are already pre-tinned on the other side like this. So we're gonna try to attach these. And as long as they're not too long, we should be good. So let's get the flight controller ready. Okay, now the one thing I do wanna point out to you is one wire is gonna go over here on this TX side. Now remember guys, you just wanna be careful when you're going, when you're soldering over something because you may accidentally heat up the solder next to it and that wire may come off. So be prepared for that, it happens a lot. So don't, it's not anything bad if you've done it. You just gotta be very careful, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go ahead and get ready. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with that wire that's over here. And in this case on your VTX, that's gonna be this bluish color wire. So we're gonna go ahead and take the tweezers and I'm gonna lay it over just like that. That's where it's gonna go. I'm gonna get my soldering iron. And here we go, ready and done. Okay, now that wire's on there. It's on there very solid. Now we're gonna look at the next set of uh, tabs, uh, next set of um, uh, pads here. And the next one is gonna be that VTX. And on our VTX cable, that's the yellow wire right here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna solder our yellow wire. And I'm gonna turn this a little bit of an angle so I can get to it easier. But if you'll just follow along, let me look at that. Make sure it's on screen for you guys. Okay, bring the yellow wire in. There you go, that's on, okay? Now the next one is gonna be that nine volt. So take your red wire. There you go. And the last one is gonna be the ground. So take your ground wire. And there you go. Everything's on there very solid, okay? That's it and that's it. Now, uh, for right now, we're gonna stop with that. So that's your VTX. So let me go back to a big screen now and show you what it should look like. So at this point, you've wired your camera and your VTX and your wiring should look just like this. Okay, so take a look at that, please. Study it, make sure that yours matches before we continue because we're gonna stop here and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna wire our receiver next. And then we're gonna wire our buzzer uh, finder right here, which if you're not using a buzzer finder, then you can skip that part. But you may wanna watch it just in case you ever do decide to use a buzzer finder, then you'll understand. And I'll go over the discussion of what that does later, but here you go. So that's it guys, and we'll see you back in just a minute to do your receipt.